In this session, I'm going to take you through accessing your Magnet Voice user portal. First step is in any web browser, simply type in your portal address. Typically, the format will be company name .magnetvoice .ie. Here then, you enter your username and password. You will find this information on the welcome pack as you've received from our service delivery team. Once you are in your user portal, you have a number of options available. To briefly take you through them, the first item is the phone book. As you can see here, there's a number of types of phone books available to you. For example, you can have a specific internal user phone book. You could have a common phone book, which is common to all people within the company. And then equally, you can have a personal phone book. You can choose the view, either individual phone books or all phone books combined. The next option then is your internal users. And this will give you a view of activity of the internal users. So as you can see here, there are a number of users who are either not available in the office or are available and ready to take a phone call. At any point, you can view this information from this user portal element under the internal users feature. The next option then is voicemail. Here you will see a number of voicemails that have been left. You will see that each one is time and date stamped. Also, you will see the number that the call has been received from. From here, you can choose to play or to delete or to even download the voice message that has been received. You can also choose to add this contact to your personal contact information. Should there be any recorded calls made available, they again will be displayed under the recorded calls section. The next option then is call logs. And this will show you number of missed calls or outgoing calls or answered calls that have been received. Again, you can choose to view all calls or you can choose to customize your view for answered, outgoing or missed calls. From this section, should you wish to make a call to any of these calls, you can simply click on the green icon to dial the number. The next option then is call forwarding. As standard, all call forwarding will be disabled. You have the choice then to change this. By clicking on the menu, you can choose any of these items that will instruct your calls to be handled differently. For example, you may choose to call forward all of your calls to a mobile number. Simply type in the mobile number that you wish to enter or call forward to and click apply. Within the call forwarding section, you can then choose to call forward on a specific basis. For example, call forward if there's no answer. And in this instance, you will see I've set it to call forward to my voicemail. Again, you have the same options to choose from and these can be customized by user to suit their requirements. Calling forward on busy is when, you're, when the caller is trying to reach you, you can either set this to go to a voicemail or even into an auto attendant message. And then finally, call forwarding on no registration. If your soft phone is not available, you can instruct the soft phone to divert itself to either an external contact number, be it a mobile number, to a contact within the group, or even to a voicemail. Phone volume will almost speak for itself. Here you can choose the volume based on the ring, the headset and the speaker. The next section then is in the phone settings. And this will give you at a quick glance what your current setup is and at a simple click how you can make a change to them. For example, by clicking, as you can see here, call forwarding, voicemail forwarding is red. By clicking it once, you have now activated voicemail forwarding. This again, is all customizable by user. So you can choose to have them on or off at any point in time. And finally then, this is the function key section. This section here is actually a representation of the soft phone that you see on your desktop. Here you can choose to customize the buttons and the options available to you. So for example, if I want to make line user, line for a specific user, I simply then go to my address book to choose the user Click once to apply and as you can see the button has now changed to my colleague's name and equally on the soft phone on my desktop this change will be applied also. Finally on the right hand side of your screen this is a quick view of what's going on with calls within your organization. So as you can see this is specific to an individual user but as more calls are received within the organization you will have an option to either park a call here or to even remotely pick up a call 
for other callers within the organisation. And that concludes your user portal.